In celebration of reaching 270k subs here on YouTube, we're going for a hunt today out here on Layton with the 270, and we could just take one 270, but I didn't think that would be as fun, so kind of starting with bigger game than intended with a moose, but we actually have all three variations of the 270, so we have the Stradivarius here that we just shot the moose with, we have the Huntsman, which is kind of like the base game version, and we have the Warden, which I feel like I should explain right away because I get this question every single time I use it in a video. The Camo 270, the Warden, is no longer attainable. It could only be uh, gotten basically by having an active Classic account and then buying Call of the Wild within 30 days of release of the game. But we do have that, and I actually have soft point bullets loaded in that one, so maybe like Broadside Deer and stuff like that we can use the soft point bullets and make some use out of that, but I just intend to kind of cycle through the three different 270s out here on Layton and maybe we can get something cool along the way. And speaking of something cool, we just about sent him running, but that is, I'm pretty sure, a small rack level 5 elk, which is the rack that I prefer for the rosies. Now, if we can, I'd actually like to try to take him with the soft points just to kind of see what we can do. We're not much more than 100 away. Let's see if he's going to stop while attentive, because broadside's what we need. Before he tries to turn, because that's inevitably what he was going to do, I wanted to get that shot in there. Now, the 270 is a kind of underpowered caliber for the Roosevelt Elk, so I'm pretty sure the fact that he just started dropping there does mean we got a long shot. He's just going to go for a pretty long time, and I mean, I don't know the last time we shot a diamond anything with soft point rounds, so because he's a small rack, he's not a guarantee, but most level 5 elk do make it as far as I know, so we might have just managed something cool already. And I mean, naturally, he would die in the brush and not a couple of meters further out in the open for a nice picture, but I guess we can do that in the trophy lodge. He is a diamond at 383, which is 3 above the minimum, and I think that makes him our biggest small rack diamond Roosevelt elk. I don't know if we have 2 or 3, but as I said, it's my favorite of the two variations for the diamonds. So definitely one I'd like to keep. I do want to see how that shot did, and I mean, we're pretty much right there center of the lungs, so pretty pleased with that, although I really did think it would take it down a lot quicker. But I mean, yeah, getting a diamond elk, maybe for the first time with a 270 in general, and of course, that would be in the 270k video, and I've been distracted twice now, once because the moose at the beginning went alert, and I didn't plan on that at all, and then, of course, the next thing to show up was that level 5 elk. But I just wanted to say a big thank you to all of you guys for helping to get the channel to 270k. I really do appreciate it, and it's so cool to see this community reach a point where we can do hunts like this, where the size of the channel and the community coincides with an in-game caliber. I never would have guessed we'd be doing this, but here we are, and I just wanted to say thank you. Now, as I mentioned at the beginning, I do want to basically cycle through the different 270s. And we haven't used the 270 Huntsman yet, and really, I don't even know the last time we fired it, but I figure just with the polymer tip rounds we can go for a simple lung shot. And maybe during the course of this video, we can try to get like one of every species on this map because we've already shot three. And by the way, I, I'm not too worried about getting like one of the rabbit, mallard, and coyote that we can't take ethically with the 270, but in case something would show up, I've got the... Uh, 45 and 410 pistols, so we can take them if anything cool happens, but I think for the most part we'll focus on the species we can take with 270 today. In the meantime, I think we've got ourselves a gold blacktail down. I'm kind of surprised 270 doesn't drop them with a lung shot, but I guess they're about the same size as whitetail. There was just a period back in the day where the 270 was ethical for whitetail, but it was considered too big for blacktail, and it's kind of interesting it doesn't even drop them. Now, technically, we're going to be going out of order here a little bit, but I did say I wanted to use the 270 Warden on, like, the broadside shot opportunities because we have the soft points loaded. I was curious to see if we'd get a drop shot, and I think maybe it went down a little bit quicker, but still not able to immediately drop a blacktail with a long shot from either of the 270 rounds. But despite the fact that this is a pretty wonky-looking blacktail, yet another gold, and I'm kind of hoping... As we're into whitetail drink time now, that we can maybe get a at least gold whitetail if we can even manage to find any. But 
that's one thing that I definitely have not mastered since the kind of redistribution of the population on Layton. The Whitetail, especially in multiplayer where I don't know the zones as much as my own map, can be a little bit difficult to find. It's been kind of an odd thing so far. The couple of Whitetail herds we've seen, for one, have been all kind of like this with just average size Whitetail bucks, but they've just been traveling, despite the fact that we're well into Whitetail drink time, and before they get too far, I like to take one, just with the 270 Stradivarius, and if we don't really find anything better, at least we'll have a Whitetail buck down. But maybe that's why I've kind of struggled so far to even locate them. I'm not sure if that's a thing on like all maps, maybe it's a multiplayer issue that we're having and that's kind of why, because we are in multiplayer today. But it just seems to be the case that every time we actually find a herd of them, they're not actually drinking. And go figure, Whitetail have been already acting weird and he just dies in the middle of a bush, but... A 171.9 score, we expect him to be a silver with that rack, but I'd still like to find a better one. Of the five species on this map we can take with the 270 ethically, bear are the one that don't have antlers, so I don't care too much about the size of whatever black bear we can find. I would like though, especially since we've gotten a good elk, blacktail, and moose, to get a good whitetail to go along with them. Now that guy, finally is a much better looking whitetail buck, and he's actually just in his drink zone as he should be, and I'm pretty sure we should be using the Huntsman this time. I'm trying to keep track of like what we used and make sure that we at least have a decent balance of the three, but when he lifts his head, we'll see if we can go for a hard shot. This is one of our ones with Palmer tips, so I'm more willing to attempt such a thing, and in that case it actually worked out, but for our whitetail, a bit of an interesting looking rack, just kind of all short tines, 225 score, and straight into the heart there and nothing else. Not too bad, so let's go and give Valmont a look then. And straight away, we found one of the coolest black bears we could find that's not going to be a level 9, a guaranteed gold blonde at level 7, and I'm trying to think, are we on to the warden now? I think we might be. The thing is, the warden is meant to be like all broadside shots, and I mean it worked on an elk, so it can work on a black bear, we just need the ideal angle, and naturally, he just absolutely disappeared into the reeds there, so hopefully he's gonna pop back up, there's kinda two options here. One, he'll just sorta go alert and stand up and become visible that way. Two, maybe he is just going to go nervous and walk back where he came from. That can't be the same bear, right? I'm actually not sure, um, I think for the sake of this, we're gonna try a shot with the Stradivarius, because the angle's just not good for soft points, it's about like 220 I think, that might have been a little bit low, it's gonna be pushing it, fingers crossed that we got that into a single lung, I think we did, I'm so confused though, I don't think 18 to 20 was the estimate that we saw, if there's two level 7 blonde bears, in the same area, that would be kind of rare. I want to see if I can get a track and confirm that it's a different one. In the meantime, there is another animal we can shoot with the warden instead. Yet another level four blacktail. There's been a bunch of them. Really, I f think ever since the reset, we must have just shot him in the heart. So finally, a 270 drop shot on the blacktail this video. But there are bear tracks here. Hold on. Now that's the one. Although it's also. 18 to 20. I'm assuming that's the one that we saw, and also there's another male Black Bear Warner call, so we'll grab the Huntsman here. I think that's gonna be a long shot. And now, I wanna know what this other bear is. The only worry I have is, we kinda shot him a bit far forward. I think there's a chance that we would've hit just the shoulder, but he started kinda running quickly again, and animals that are fairly wounded tend to just run it out, basically sprinting until they'll drop. That's the lung blood from our other bear. That must be the one that warning calls. Let's confirm that's not anything special. And then the black toe should be down around here somewhere, and then we have quite a bit of tracking to do. I gotta be honest, I wouldn't have expected the black bear hunt to get so interesting all of a sudden, but not too bad. 203 meter soft point bullet hard shot on that black tail. And then we'll get Rascal to help us out here and track down the bears, but that's so interesting. 
I want to check the weights and make sure they aren't the exact same. I don't think you'd ever get a duplicate of the same animal both alive simultaneously, but it's not super common to see even two blonde bears in the same area, let alone the same weight and score estimate. So our first one is a 20.4 score, 213.72 weight. I'm going to screenshot that just in case. And now we can actually check and see. It is also 20.4, but a different weight. That's so interesting to me that we'd get such similar bears in the same area. I would not be shocked if we never see that again. Two blonde black bears, which is the rarest fur type for them as far as I know, with the same trophy rating, decent size by the way, and I think they only differed by 3kg just right there in that same spot. That was so interesting and I really thought for a second that it would have been the same bear that somehow went from nervous to calm immediately, but clearly it was two completely different animals. But anyway, I think on that note, after such an odd circumstance, we're going to go back to the trophy lodge and take a look at our elk from the beginning of the hunt. Well, for once, actually an easy decision. We had a small horns diamond cape buffalo here, much like this one. So easy to decide to replace that in favor of a good sized diamond elk. And especially since we had a diamond rocky in here already, I think that's cool to have them in the same hallway and get to compare the size. But of all videos, to end up taking a diamond elk with a 270, I think one thanking you guys for 270k is a perfect occasion to do that. So once again, I want to thank everyone for helping to get the channel to this point. And I'm looking forward to future iterations of hunting with a caliber that coincides with the size of the communities. So as always, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.